Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how we have created this pharmaceutical dashboard in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page of this dashboard wherein we are showing the total revenue, total profit, unit sold, total cost and the number of product which are expiring soon. When I say the expiring soon, that means they are expiring within 180 days. Okay, then we are showing the profit margin here on this battery chart. This is the total revenue by region. This is the total revenue by month. Here we are showing the total revenue by category. This is the total revenue by sales channel. On the right hand side, we are showing the various slicer to filter the data like by category. You can filter and you can see the result or you can filter by the dose forms like capsules or syrup or tablets and you can see the all analysis there then you can select the regions also we have taken five region here or in stock low stock or out of stock you can see that then we have created the various pages for this dashboard like profitability and the margin you can just click here it will take you to the relevant page here we are showing the profit margin by the category so we can see that here and this is the total profit by the sales channel this is total profit by the region this is the monthly profit versus sales trend so we can we are showing here total sales and the total profit by the month again you can filter the data as per your requirement by any slicers and automatically it will show the relevant data now the next is the stock and inventory page just click on that and here we are showing the stock and inventory analysis the first chart we are showing the unit sold by the region here we have the various region and total unit sold and then number of products by stock status so we can see the low stock out of stock and the in stock count of the products this is product by the Storage, storage condition like uh, refrigerated frozen or room temperature we can see that here number of products units sold by storage condition then here we have the various slicers again and let's go to the expiry and risk summary expiring in 180 days so we are showing all the information here that is expiring in 180 days number of products by region this is the number of product by stock status this is the number of product by storage condition and this is the number of product by category. The next one is the sales representative and here we are showing the summary of the sales representative unit sold by the top seven sales representative and this is the profit by the top seven sales representative and this is the total revenue by the top seven sales representative and you can again filter the data as you want in a particular category or a particular dose form or a particular region also if you want to see the data or the top seven sales representative for a particular region you can see that so this is all dynamic dashboard and you just need to input your data and you just need to refresh and all dashboard will be refreshed automatically now i will show you how you can update the data here just go to the file and just go to the options and here just go to the advanced and scroll it down we have one option here display option for this workbook and just say so c tab and click on ok now we can see all the c tabs are appearing here as well as the data also so we have this data here wherein we have the batch id sale date product name category dose form region sales channel st uh, stock status then here we have the storage condition expiring date expiring soon we have created the formula if it is 180 days within 180 days then uh, we can say it is expiring soon otherwise we can say no this is a unit sold unit price and this is the production cost sales representative here we have created again some formulas like total sales total cost profit and this is the month this is all dummy data you can change this with your original data and you can delete this data simply from here and just paste this data don't delete the headers keep the headers same after putting the data you can go to the data tab and just say refresh all and whole dashboard will be refreshed 
I will show you the support sheet also. Here we have created various pivot tables to create the different charts, including the battery chart and the other charts. You can see this, these all pivot table for the overview page. We have given here topic as overview. If I scroll right, then you can see this is all for the profitability and the margins here. These four pivot table. Then we have for the stock and inventory pivot table. Then here we have the risk summary, expiry risk, risk summary. And then here we have the sales representative analysis. So we have created all the pivot tables and using these pivot table, you can create the dashboard as you want. Now coming to this design, how we have designed this dashboard, you can just go to the review and unprotect this sheet. So this sheet was protected. However, we haven't put any password. You can simply unprotect this without any password. Now this is all rectangles. You can see this is a different rectangle and this is the different rectangle and in the background we have taken the different rectangle and here also we have created the various rectangles and over that we have placed this chart. Now let me show you how we can create this type of charts. If you want to learn more in detail about these type of charts, pivots and the dashboards, you can join our course. We have given the link in the video's description box. Inside that course, we have given the practice file for each and every lecture. So you can join that course and you can practice with those practice files. And we have explained a lot of advanced label chart like battery chart, speedometer chart and filling circle chart and other lot of charts. So you can use that. Now let me show you how you can create this kind of chart like we have created. So you just need to go to the support sheet and let's say I want to create a chart using this chart. Okay. A month chart. So let's go to the insert and insert a chart from here. So first we will take the normal chart this one and let's make this bigger slightly and then go to the format, go to the pivot chart analyze and then field buttons and just say hide all and you can remove the grid lines and legend also from here now you can simply insert the picture whatever you want like we have taken here this arrow picture so what you can do you can just go to the insert saves and you can take the save from here so let's say we have taken this save just click here now we can see this arrow so you can go to the save format and rotate this arrow at rotate left 90 so it should be in the up direction because we are putting on the column chart now we can see one line here, so you can go to the save format and just say save outline as no outline. You can take the save fill as you want. So let's say I'm taking this one or this one, this color, then go to the save fill again and this time go to the gradient and let's select this gradient, which is linear up. Now copy this arrow and select these columns and paste that arrow here. Now we can see the arrow is appearing. Okay. Now what you can do, you can just right click here, go to the format data series and just change the gap width around 10 or even you can take zero also. So we can see all the arrows are appearing here and we can add the data labels also. So data labels are also appearing here. Okay. So that is how we have created this type of charts and to create the cards like we have created on the top, you can simply insert a seat and let's say I'm just going to the view and uncheck the grid lines from here. So first let, let me insert one rectangle here and drag that rectangle here and make this corner radius slightly smaller like this. Then go to the save fill and let's take this color here, save outline, choose no outline or you can take little darker same theme and then save weight of the outline half point. Okay, so this is the big background and then you can insert another rectangle here and let's say this time I'm taking this rectangle and I'm just dragging that rectangle here. Choose this shape outline half point and save fill you can take white color also and now we will create the cards here. Okay, if, if you want to make this slightly transparent you can just right click go to the save format fill and here you can make it transparent also let's say 20 or 30 percent like this we have made that transparent then just go to the insert text box and just drag the text box here click on the outline of the text box go to the formula bar press equal to and then go to the support sheet 
and here we have created a lot of keywords so let's say i want to take the total revenue just click here and just hit the enter now align this center center and let's keep this here go to the format and save fill as no fill save outline as no outline and just make this bold font color i will take this color now let's make a copy of this control d and you can keep this here in place of c3 we will take c4 because the actual revenue value value is on the c4 so here you can take the c4 and enter we can see that value so just take the formatting from here and just click and you can increase the font size so that is how we have created the cards also then you can insert the slicer so let's select this insert the slicer from here and let's say i want to take the slicers for category and those form or let's say region click on ok let's cut those slicer and you can paste them here you can change the style of the slicer just select and go to the slicer and change the slicer style let's say i am taking this one or you can take this one also so it's up to you which one you want to take or even you can create the customized one now if i click you can see the value of the card is getting changed okay so this is totally dynamic so that is how we have created the cards and uh, we have created some other charts also using the shapes like we have pasted here you can use the different shapes also to learn more about this kind of dashboard you can join our course we have given the link in the video's description box Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.